In this episode of Lightbox, we're talking to Philippe Vaucher, a Montreal-based artist and director who's been actively working in animation for more than a decade. Applying fine art methods to digital animation technologies, his work spans music videos, animated segments for feature films, and narrative short films. Beginning with his MA film while studying in the UK, Phil's attention has shifted to creating films using sand, and more recently, salt, on glass. His latest film, The Well, premiered last year and will be showcased at the Ottawa International Animation Festival later this month. I started using sand, and I'm actually really quite fond of sand. I started using it when I was doing my MA in Bristol, mm -hmm. and uh, sand on glass was backlit. Uh, it was just beautiful. It was a complete revelation for me. And I, it kind of became my medium of choice, mm -hmm. and, and I loved the, the light and the gradients, and uh, it, it quite suited my style, which was always kind of... I tend to go more towards the black and white. Mm -hmm. And as I was in pre-production for The Well, my producer, Marcel Jean, suggested that I actually try salt, salt on glass. The appeal for me was almost immediate because sand is, I love it, but it's actually going to the beach and coming home every day. Like, I, I'd wake up with like salt in my hair <laughs> and I'd be like on my face, on my pillow, and get in my pockets. It, it, it would actually, uh, it was like being at the beach, but without all the fun. <laughs> So it's colored salt, um, because salt is translucent. So I just used uh, basically food dye, food coloring to, uh, to color it. And the question was, well, what color? And I just used blue uh, because I felt that red would probably make me angry all the time. I'd be <laughs> animating in a medium of rage. Uh, but blue would be somewhat more soothing. So, so it's colored salt and in After Effects, it's important to After Effects. And, uh, I played with the colors in After Effects. So I was using uh, Drag and Stop Motion, which is a, an amazing, fantastic uh, program. Uh, and I, I would import my storyboard images. And so, especially if it was a face, uh, faces are actually quite tricky. Uh, I would, you know, kind of use the still image as a reference. Mm -hmm. So on cue cards, mm -hmm. I'd actually break down my action. So one, two, three, and that way, I kind of, I'd act it out mm -hmm. and just, yeah, on cue cards, the day where I was animating or before going into the studio, I would just uh, plan out the action mm -hmm. and, and physically also act it out. But concerning the character animation, and if, if you're doing this technique, cons like in regards to faces, mm -hmm. I learned quite quickly not, if you can avoid touching them, uh, you know, maybe a blink, but because as soon as you start manipulating, especially in my case, it was children, and the more I'd animate them, the more they'd look like old people. Right. So my shot at the beginning of the day, I'd have the youth, youthful exuberance, and by the end of the day, they looked like 90 and haggard. <laughs> uh, so I, I learned that, you know, uh, the but, but by keeping characters smaller, I could, you know, do, do like more um, body language actions. And, but the, 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 the facial animation is a bit trickier. Philippe's first professional work was The Song Catcher, a collaboration with the National Film Board of Canada in 2001. I got into the NFB in, I guess, 1998, because mm -hmm. I won a cross-Canada competition called Sinestre Cherché. Oh. So they, uh, it's open to all French Canadians across uh, the country. You submit a storyboard, and basically the best story kind of wins and so the, the director 
gets to make that film in a professional setting at the film board. And it's every two years and it's, it's an incredible, incredible opportunity. So yeah, uh, so, I, so I got in with that storyboard and I got to make that film. And so has a relationship with the NFB continued since then? Yeah. I've worked on quite a few f films uh, at the NFB since. Uh, I worked on L'Homme qui dort, The Man Who Slept. I was art director for Trente Tableaux, which is kind of a biopic mm -hmm. by actress uh, Paul Bayergeon. So I did art direction on that. I'm, I just finished shooting Michel Cournoyer's film. So, mm -hmm. yeah, no, and, and, you know, I love the film board. It's like... It's actually like going home. Uh -huh. yeah. So aside from the working with sand and salt and other sort of on glass techniques, is there any th other sort of techniques that you've delved into on past projects or, uh, or subsequent projects perhaps? Yeah, I kind of had a... Until I got to um, salt and sand, I was like... Every film was a different technique. Mm -hmm. The song catcher was kind of Conte, pastel, charcoal. And then I made uh, this this film, Red and Blue, Rouge et Bleu, for a, via a classical jazz violinist. And that I, I used uh, colored inks mm -hmm. to make that film. I kind of like love the idea of combining these traditional mediums and giving them life mm -hmm. uh, in a digital age. Mm -hmm.